Andrew Nichols' newest sci-fi venture, In Time, is one of those films that comes around every so often with an excellent premise and appealing cast, but falls short of telling a convincing story. Set in the not-too-distant future, the film shows a dystopian corporate world where humans are genetically engineered to stop aging at 25. Once they cross that threshold, their time to live literally becomes currency. Everyone has a neon clock tattooed on their right forearms, ticking down the years, days, minutes, or seconds they have left. Time is spent on material items. Minutes can buy a cup of coffee, an hour can buy a bus ride. A person can earn time by working or stealing in the ghetto or inheriting it in a realm of the wealthy, thus having the possibility of living forever. Living day to day takes on a whole new meaning for Will Salas, Justin Timberlake, a 28-year-old factory worker who lives in the ghetto of Dayton with his mother Rachel, Olivia Wilde, and strives every day to earn enough time just to pay the bills and make it to the next day. The film makes no secret of its similarity to the current economic experience in America. The rich have it all while the poor have nothing, an idea in line with the 99% rich blaming mentality of the Occupy Wall Street movement. The metaphor is obvious in the beginning and only gets more blatant as the film continues until the time is money puns begin to overwhelm. The reason and science behind the 25 year lifespan is unexplained, yet the audience is made to accept it as a foundation from the beginning. That's not to say there isn't anything to love in the film. Wild, though only on screen for a short period, delivers an emotional, heart pounding performance that sticks with you. Murphy is similarly attention grabbing, as are the timekeepers as a group, more interested in keeping the time than enforcing justice. Ultimately, In Time fails to execute its intriguing premise and emotional scenes, stunning silhouette cinematography and overall good acting is muddled by an in-your-face metaphor, flat characters, and a desire for more world building. Go see it if you like almost thought-provoking action movies, but pass it up for something like Margin Call if you want a more human look at the economy. Grade C+.